sprout. Flew up your arse sideways and laid a golden egg. Something you've more for me. Need, fouled by the stench of muspels. Yatna too. Your skull! Ah! 
Smells aren't making any use of this place. They let it rot. The smell of mead grows strong. This must be where everything is stored. Sentry's nose would have guided him here. about this land, my friend.
Bring me another barrel. Sindri, and here, at the back of roasted acorns. Surely there is some sign of Sindri here. A chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. Is this Sindri's special mead? Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. What do we have here? The Muspas have a prison not far from here. Jan's Hoos, they call it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish, but alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's Hoos. That is where I should go next. Guards here are vigilant.
Loki, no matter his crimes, it's likely Sindri was brought here many years ago. Not too late. We have the advantage! Won't survive! <laughs> such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still, it can't be coincidence that Kaldas sated the Salakar with the hookers of so many races. Musvel, Jotun, Dwarf, who knows what else. Please let this not be our missing master. Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves. More so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri. No. No, my dear Sindri. <laughs> the funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend the broker to my will. I must speak with Rip. 